friends. Today we're reading The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Oh, this time the wolves are good and the pig is so bad. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, the third was white. One day the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bag pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and off they went. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks, asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. Building, building, building. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. The pig knocked on the door and he grunted, little wolves, little wolves, oink, let me come in. Oh, no, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Now for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. And he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the house did not fall down. Because it's made of bricks, right? But the pig was not called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his, oh no, you're not gonna be fond of this. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. I'm very sad. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled. They were very frightened indeed, would you agree? We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry, thick, hard concrete. It's gonna dry hard. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. So here they are asking the nice beaver, and here they are building their house. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete and that the little wolves had built. They were playing battledore, it's kind of like tennis, and scuttle in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and they shut the door. The pig rang the bell, ding dong, and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house did not fall down. But the pig was not called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his drill. He smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape by their chinny chin chins and their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. Let's see what happens. The next day, oh, we shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were determined just then they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, and armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armed plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one possibly could imagine. They felt absolutely very safe. 
There's a rhinoceros truck. And there's their house. Let's see what happens. The next day, the big bad wolf came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, locked all the 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house did not fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He bought some dynamite. He laid it against the house. He lit the fuse and the house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails. Oh, they're going to get this. You know they are. They're determined. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers, asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo. And he gave them lots of flowers, so the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. Oh, I would love that. Does that sound safe though? To me, concrete would have been safer. Do you agree? We're gonna find out what happens. One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in the refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind, but it was so beautiful. The next day, the big bad wolf came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the blue bell at the door and said, little frightened pigs, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the tails, let me come in. Oh, no, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chitty chin chin, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down said the pig. Let's see what happens. <gasps> but as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puffed, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, it means it smelled good. The pig took another breath and another and another and another. Instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until quite filled with the fragrance, the lovely scent, his heart grew tender and soft and became warm and he realized how terribly rotten and horrible he had been. Right then he decided to be a big good pig and he started to sing and dance. Oh that's nice. It wasn't about keeping the pig out, it was about making the pig realize he can be happy. At first the three little wolves were worried it might be a trick but soon they realized the pig had truly changed and they came running out of the house and they started playing games with him. First they played pig pog and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into their house. That's nice. How to be a good friend and share. They offered him tea and strawberries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. And the pig, pig accepted and they all lived happily ever after. And we all say, bye.